Welcome back to the channel and today I wanted to show you what you could expect from British Airways first class on their 787-9. Please remember to follow me on Instagram at Brandon Johnson 10 k for behind the scenes looks at content that I will be reviewing in the future. So my first time in first class here and here is the cabin as you come in. So you've got two rows of one to one seating in first class there. Now I was seated originally in 1F. I did end up switching to seat 1E uh, so a couple could sit closer to each other. Um, so here as we take a look at the seat. I'm just happy that I was able to get here without uh, being downgraded. Unlike my friend Air Germain, I will leave a link to his very good and um, I guess comical but serious British Airways uh, first class downgrade video. But here as we look here at the space on the seat that we have there. So you got the cabinet here with some decent amount of space in there as that opens up. And next to you, you've got the wall that wall can come down if you needed to. You've got the seat controls to your left side. You can see the seat's been beat up a little bit. So down here, you've got the power universal power outlet, USB port, in-flight entertainment remote. And I don't know, the Master Splinter might be down there too with the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Not sure. You got the safety card right behind that. Now here, when you push this, now I couldn't get it out <clears throat> this time. Unfortunately, it happens when you're, you're doing this. I did figure it out a little later. So I'll show you the tray table when it is fully, um, fully out there. You've got a lamp. Here to your left side. As we move on, here's the in-flight entertainment screen, which I wasn't, yeah, that was a little underwhelming, the in-flight entertainment screen. I'll, I'll talk about that in a bit. Got headphones out there, blanket. You can see the footwell. So you have a place below to put your shoes if you want to. I recommend putting them on the side as when you go in the lay flat position. Um, yeah, it'd be better for them on the side. Here you've got a coat rack when you push that button now you can you know, fit a slim coat in there I suppose but again plenty of space there this lifts up so you have a little more storage you yeah, not a ton of storage at the seat but you do have some compartments where you can put a few things if you need to at the seat and there when you look up you don't have individual air vents. So that is part one of the seat. So this time, and this was from seat 1E, I was able to get the tray table out. Nice, shiny, sturdy tray table there. So that is nice. And the nice thing is you can get out with that. So you can push that up and still get out to use the bathroom if you need to. Um, also looking on this side, everything is essentially in the reverse order there. The seat control honestly was a little tough to figure out at first, but I did finally get that. So here is how the divider works. So if you're sitting next to somebody you don't know, you can just press that down and press it up as well for more privacy. Now, here's the little, I guess we'll call it an ottoman, but this does slide back and forth. So you can bring that closer uh, or back further into its original resting position, depending on the level of comfort you want. So, yeah, these dials work with the seat. So you, you click the dials and how you want stuff and pressing buttons. Again, it took a little bit to figure out, but just so you have an idea of the seat in the lie flat position. Very comfortable seat. I did sleep well. This is flight BA-239 uh, from London Heathrow to Boston, Logan Airport. So we were talking about seven hours and 20 minute flight or so. So I was able to nap a little bit. So let's take a look at the headphones. I thought the headphones were of good quality. And you also do have some bedding here. So you've got a smaller blanket kind of a relaxing blanket so that was nice got a couple of pillows there pillows I thought were really comfortable and they did bring a larger blanket if you needed it as well there's the other pillow 
and you did get pajamas in first class. So nice touch. I really, I really enjoyed the flight here on my first time flying first class with British Airways. Also, pre-departure beverages were offered. Uh, you had a choice of champagne, juice, or water. So I'm gonna leave you with the takeoff. Unfortunately, no window seat, and I'll be back. Let's take a look at the bathroom here on the 787-9 here in first class. Um, yeah, not a fancy bathroom by any means, but definitely enough space to get changed into your pajamas. You have the Elemis toiletry products there. So soap, lotions, the toilet there. And uh, unfortunately, no window in this bathroom on the Dreamliner. So next we have the meal service. So it is a la carte dining in first class. So you can essentially order stuff as you want to. Um, I'll let you take a look at the menu and I'll be back with the choices that I made from the menu. Okay, so let's take a look here. So things started off with the amuse bush. Got a few things here, um, but those are all really good. Honestly, I can't remember <laughs> what those were, but the salmon was absolutely excellent. Next up had the chilled uh, British beef Wellington, which was great. Some bread was offered with that. You got some olive oil, salt and pepper and butter to go along with the bread. So for my main, I did have um, the grilled filet of Atlantic halibut with vegetables, also very good. Yeah, I was really impressed with the catering on this flight. Yeah, it's definitely something I would remember, left lasting impressions with the catering. The food was, was really good. So for dessert, I had the winterberry bread and butter pudding, which that was also excellent. Yeah, one of the better desserts I think I've had in a premium cabin there. Yeah, I could have went for two of these, honestly. And before landing, um, I had the wild mushroom quiche and the salad. Again, also excellent. Just really flavorful uh, food there. Kind of whiskey up top that I had. 
So Wi-Fi, let's talk about the Wi-Fi. Uh, the Wi-Fi was free in first class, but um, you can see here some of the packages they offer for browsing and streaming, starting from uh, five pounds, messaging from three pounds. So those are your Wi-Fi options there. But again, first class does get free Wi-Fi um, available on one device. So there is you look at the hour, four hour and full flight pass for uh, the Internet. So I'm going to leave you with the in-flight entertainment system to let you walk through that with me now again a little underwhelming in the way it's presented not nearly as nice as the in-flight entertainment screen on the new club suites so this first class is i guess the newer first class but uh oddly enough they had the old business class seats on this plane so i know they're going through uh some transition as far as updating all the seats so the can the product is consistent but it was very inconsistent on this as far as first class and business class was concerned. So I'll be back shortly with my final thoughts. Okay, so I wanted to give you my final thoughts on this uh, flight. So really had a good experience in first class uh, with British Airways. Uh, I thought the seat was very comfortable, although the dial system took a little getting used to as far as adjusting the seat, but just a small thing there. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Sid. She was taking care of the first class cabin and she did an absolutely uh, wonderful job and was very accommodating. Uh, I feel the IFE interface is a bit dated dated and not crisp like the ones in the new club world suites um but and that's really it my only gripe food was excellent free wi-fi so you really can't go wrong so as always i appreciate you watching please hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share this with a friend catch you next time thank you